Hello viewers, welcome to a new section, Styling Vector Data. We will begin this section by styling vectors. Moving ahead, we will render the vector layers and use diagram to display thematic diagram and finally, we will save, load and set default styles. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with styling vector data. In this video, we are going to learn about the six different vector styling types. The six types are single symbol, categorized, graduated, rule-based, point displacement, and inverted polygons. Before beginning, we will first add a layer. Here, we have added stacked points. In the layer properties, you can see that there are six styles present. First, we will look at single symbol vector style. The single symbol vector style applies the same symbol to every record in the vector dataset. The vector style is best when you want a uniform look for a map layer, such as when you style lake polygons or airport points. Here, you can see the single symbol style type with default parameters for point vector data. Its properties will be very similar to line and polygon vector data. Let's quickly look at the point properties now. Symbol preview shows a preview of a symbol with the current parameters. Symbol parameters has the parameters for the symbol selected in the symbol component tree. Library symbols lists a group of symbols from the library. Clicking on a symbol sets it as the current symbol design. If symbol groups exist, they can be selected for viewing in the Symbols in Group drop-down menu. To open the Style Manager, click on Open Library. Next one is Symbol Component Tree, lists the layers of symbol components. Clicking on each layer changes the symbol parameters so that the symbol can be changed. We will now create a circle around a gas pump. We will add a second layer with the SVG Marker Symbol Layer Type by clicking on the Add Symbol Layer button and then we will give symbol to our marker. Here, we give it as a gas pump and move it to the top of the circle by clicking on the Move Up button. We will keep the simple marker as a normal circle and change its color and size. For SVG marker, we change the size to six. To save your custom symbol to the Style Manager, click on the Save button to name and save the style. The saved style will appear in the Style Manager and the list of library symbols. When we apply the changes, you can notice that the points has changed to gas pump symbols. The categorized vector style applies one symbol per category of the attribute values. This vector style is best when you want a different symbol that is based on attribute values, such as when styling country polygons or classes of roads lines. The categorized vector style works best with nominal or ordinal attribute data. You can see the categorized style type with parameters for point vector data of schools of populated places. For this, we have added this populated places maps layer to our canvas. In the layer properties, first change to categorized. Styling vector data with the categorized style type is a four step process. First, we need to select an appropriate value for the column field to use the attributes for categorization. We are using check me. Optionally, an expression can be created for categorization by clicking on the expression button to open the expression dialog. Create the classes to list by either clicking on the classify button to add a class for each unique attribute that is found. Otherwise, click on the add button to add an empty class and then double click in the value column to set the attribute value to be used to create the class. Classes can also be removed, reordered and modified. We then set the symbol for all classes by clicking on the symbol button to open the symbol selector window. Individual class symbols can be changed by double clicking on the symbol column of the class list. Choose the color ramp to apply to the classes. Individual class colors can be changed by double clicking on the symbol column of the class list. When we apply this, here you can notice the changes in the map where different points are classified based on population. 
Next vector styling is the graduated vector style, applies one symbol per range of numeric attribute values. This vector style is the best when you want a different symbol that is based on a range of numeric attribute values, such as when styling gross domestic product polygons or city population points. The graduated vector style works best with ordinal, interval and ratio numeric attribute data. Here also we will be using the same populated places layer. So in layer properties, change the style to the graduated vector. Styling vector data with the categorized style type is a five-step process. First, we will select an appropriate value for the column field to use the attributes for classification. We have used pop other. Choose the number of classes and the classification mode. There are five modes that are available for use. They are equal interval. In this mode, the width of each class is set to be the same. Quantile. In this mode, the number of records in each class is distributed as equally as possible. Natural breaks, jenks. The jenks breaks method maximizes homogeneity within classes. Standard deviation. Here, classes represent standard deviations above and below the mean record values. And last mode is pretty breaks. This creates class boundaries that are round numbers. We will be using natural break. After that, we will create the classes to list by either clicking on the classify button to add a class for each unique attribute that is found. Otherwise, click on the add class button to add an empty class and then double click in the value column to set the attribute value range to be used to create the class. Set the symbol for all classes by clicking on the symbol button to open the symbol selector window. Choose the color ramp to apply to the classes. Individual class colors can be changed by double-clicking on the symbol column of the class list. The legend format field sets the format for all labels. Anything can be typed in the text box. The lower boundary of the class will be inserted where 1% is typed in the text box, and the upper boundary of the class will be inserted where 2% is typed. If link class boundaries is checked, then the adjacent class boundary values will be automatically changed to be adjacent if any of the class boundaries are manually changed. When we apply these settings, you can notice that the map has changed. The rule-based vector style applies one symbol per created rule and can apply maximum and minimum scales to toggle symbol visibility. This vector style is the best when you want a different symbol that is based on different expressions or when you want to display different symbols for the same layer at different map scales. For example, if you are styling roads, a rule could be set to make roads appear as thin lines when zoomed out, but when zoomed in, the thin lines will disappear and will be replaced by thicker lines that are more scale appropriate. In layer properties, change the style to rule based. When this is done, categorized style type is converted to the rule based style type parameters for polygon vector data of the populations of the countries. The rule based style properties window shows a list of current rules, these columns. Label shows the the symbol and the label will be visible in the layers panel. Rule displays the filter applied to the vector data set to select a subset of records. Min scale displays the smallest zoomed out scale at which the rule will be visible. Max scale displays the largest scale at which the rule will be visible. Count this displays the number of features that are included in this rule. This is calculated when the count features button is clicked. Duplicate count. This displays the number of features that are included in the current and other rules. This is calculated when the count features button is clicked. To add a new rule, click on the add rule button to open the rule properties window. To edit a rule, select the rule and then click on the edit rule button to open the rule properties window. To remove a rule, Select the rule and then click on the Remove Rule button. Additional scales, categories and ranges can be added to each rule by clicking on the Refine Current Rules button. As an example of use, using the populated places SHP sample data, capital cities, megacities and all other places can be styled differently by using rule-based styling. We will just clear it. First, we will write the rule named capital city, the filter with this expression, and once this is done, 200 features get returned. 
Next, we change the size to 4. And next, we add another rule named NOT CAPITALS and filter the rule using this formula. When we test the rule, we get 699 features. Let's change its colour and size. Finally, we will add another rule and filter it using this formula shown. When we test it, we get 350 features. Let's change this label's colour and size. Save and apply changes. As you can see, the output shows the rules created and a sample map of selected populated places. We will now look at the point displacement vector style. The point displacement vector style radially displaces points that lie within a set distance from each other so that they can be individually visualised. This vector style works best on data where points may be stacked on top of each other, thereby making it hard to see each point individually. This vector style only works with the point vector geometry type. First, we will add a vector layer. We have added stacked points layer. Now in the layer properties, change the style as point displacement. As you can see here, the point displacement style works by using the single symbol renderer. Each point within the point distant tolerance value of at least one other point is displaced at a distance of the circle radius modification value around a newly created center symbol. Let's review parameters that are unique to the point displacement style. Center symbol contains the style for the center symbol that is created at the location from where the point symbols are being displaced. Renderer contains the renderer that styles the displaced points. Click on the renderer settings button to access renderer settings. Point distance tolerance. For each point, if another point is within this distance tolerance, then all points will be displaced. We change it to three. Placement method as ring the labels parameters applies to all points, displaced or not, in the vector data. It is important to use these label parameters rather than the label parameters on the labels tab of the layer properties window because the labels set in the labels tab will label the center symbol and not the displaced points. When the changes are applied, we get to see this output. When we change the point distance tolerance, we get an output like this. The inverted polygons vector style inverts the area that a polygon covers. This vector style only works with the polygon vector geometry type. Here we will add the layer. Here we have added the Hawaii countries layer. In the layer properties, change the style as inverted polygon. The inverted polygon style parameters rely on a sub-renderer to determine the symbol used for the inverted polygons. By choosing the sub-renderer, the polygon rendering is inverted to cover the entire map canvas. This shows the inverted polygon style parameters that created the inverted polygon of Hawaii countries. If multiple polygons are going to be inverted and the polygons overlap, merge polygons before rendering slow can be checked. When we apply these settings, we get an output like this. The output shows the inverted polygon style for a polygon of the country of Hawaii. In this video, we used the six different vector style types.